Hey guys, uh, I'm Surya from Skilling. I wanted to clarify on a few questions that our customers always ask, right? Um, what kind of jobs can I apply post a Skilling master course, right? So if you have seen our website, there will be courses called individual courses and career packs. Our career packs are job oriented courses and these courses help students get into a core mechanical engineering job, right? So now what kind of jobs do these students get, right? So that's the question. So what I'm going to do is our master courses right now, what we have are split into three parts, CFD masters, CAE masters and design masters. Uh, if you see our website, there will be multiple master courses, but they are all subdomains of these three main domains, right? So it will be CFD masters and there will be aerodynamics, external aerodynamics masters, CAE masters and then FEA masters, which are subdomains. Then if you see a design masters, you will also see a BAW fixture design master. These are subdomains as well, right? So now what kind of jobs do students get after finishing our course, right? So if you take any master course with computational fluid dynamics, so if you are uh, good at tools like ANSA or Hypermesh, you can get into a CFD pre-processing engineer role. So here, what you will do is basically you will work on meshing and setting up boundary conditions. If you are good at solver, right, uh, you will get into CFD analyst or CFD applications engineer kind of role. If you are an MTech student and if you are good at coding, then you will basically, uh, you can apply for CFD software development roles. So these are the top notch roles with higher pay salaries, right? So these are the roles that usually people who finish our, any of our CFD master's course can get. So next comes our computer aided engineering masters. Any finite element analysis or solid mechanics or strength of materials master's course that we have on our skill link website, uh, I'm categorizing that into CAE masters, right? If you are taking up a CAE masters, then you can get into a FEA pre-processing engineer role, FEA analyst or a crash analyst. So you, know, you can definitely become a crash analyst after finishing our coursework or an applications engineer. If you again have an MTech degree and if you are good at coding, which will also be included in our coursework, you can be applying for our FEA software developer roles, right? So these are also the roles that are available in the industry. So next comes our design domain. So if you're taking our uh, SolidWorks master's program or design master's program or a BAW fixture design master's program, then what roles you will be getting into is you will get into a basic design engineer role. If you are specialized in solid modeling, you will get into solid modeling based design engineer. If you are good at surface modeling, you will get into surface modeling based design engineer or sheet metal or plastic. So these are the different design engineering domains that you will be. If you are mastering in BAW, you can either apply as a BAW fixture design or a BAW design engineer. So these are the different type of roles that you can apply for if you take apart any of our master's program. Okay, now I want to learn all these together. I want to understand the connectivity between design, CFD, FEA, right? So these are a few students are like them, right? That is where our postgraduate program in hybrid electric vehicles comes. So Anyone who takes up our postgraduate uh, program in hybrid electric vehicles not only gets to apply to all these three domains, but they also can apply for any job which has a combination of electric vehicle or electric powertrain architecture in combination with CFD, FEA or design, right? So these are the job roles that you can apply if you take up any of our master's program. So from previous data. So we have uh, till now placed around 150 uh, plus students. So from the data, what we see is as a fresh mechanical engineer with no experience, you can expect anywhere between 2.5 lakhs to 4.5 lakhs. So that's 2.5 lakhs is the minimum. Maximum is 4.5 lakhs. That's the range. If you are an MTech student, you can expect somewhere between 3.5 lakhs to 5.5 lakhs or 6 lakhs even if you do really well. Right. So this is how the, these are the roles and this is the salary scale that you can expect after finishing up a skilling course. Right. So I'll come up with another video. Okay. Thank you.